Before we leave Apollo Bay, we heard about this cool lookout point that overlooks the entire city and the bay, so we're heading there first. Up next, we're driving an hour and a half to the Twelve Apostles. If you've ever seen a picture of the Great Ocean Road, it's probably the Twelve Apostles. There's a little sheep we saw from the top. This seems like an appropriate album. the drive wasn't very oceany but it was still great we just made it to the gibson steps the drive here while not oceany was still pretty great the road was crazy curvy but the speed limit was 100 kilometers an hour so i feel like i was driving a race car the whole time now we're about to hike down the gibson steps which i think takes us to the bottom of where the 12 apostles are which are a bunch of rocks in the ocean and there's only seven of them not really? 12. One of them fell down. And then I think there was never 12 to begin with. Apparently the 12 apostles used to be called the pig and the sows. And then for tourism purposes they renamed them to the 12 apostles because they thought that was more appealing. But first, lunch. Tell us what local foods we're eating today, Kara. We're trying these round baked crackers called Ritz. Ratis. <laughs> they have salt. I, they're gonna be awesome. It looks like they're made out of wheat flour, vegetable oil. All right, what do we have next? <laughs> next is this extremely interesting substance called peanut butter. Peanut? What? And it's crunchy? What is that? I have no idea. Last but not least, This half eaten package <laughs> of road trip food. That's what we call them. <laughs> it's our road trip fuel. Oh, Areos. <laughs> I love Areos. Mate. Brilliant. surrounded it's our last hope of getting back Quickly! where would we look trapped water 
wall. Monsters wall. Go, go, go. <laughs> I think we'll just let those shots speak for themselves. Up next, a short drive to see the 12 apostles from the cliff tops. It's raining. Or it's sea spray, I think it's raining. I think we're about to get soaking wet. Are you a little chilly? Looks like you have a shower cap on. Me and my little Eskimo at the 12 Apostles. <laughs> I think that's the one that collapsed in 2005. <laughs> There's like a lot of other big sites really close. Looks like our next stop is here, and then here, and then here, and then there. Hopefully we have enough time to make it. That's where we just were. The weather is taking a turn for the worst. A heavy mist to set in. Camera's probably funny. getting ruined. The sun is attempting to make a comeback. whatever that next picture was. I can't remember what it said, but I'm sure we'll see a sign. On the road again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the arch. Next up, the London Bridge. I'm gonna try to tell the story even though it's really windy. This is called the London Bridge. It's more of an arch now. There used to be a bridge part that connected these two until one day it collapsed and two people were stranded over here and they had to be rescued by helicopter. That would be the coolest story to have. You were trapped on the London Bridge and had to get rescued by a helicopter. The rain really put a damper on that time lapse. We had to cut it short. Get it. A damper. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like one more thing to see. The Bay of Islands maybe? I'm not positive we're going to drive past it. At this point we're just driving to Port Ferry which is where we're staying for the night and if we come across anything else cool, we'll stop. Oh, we forgot about the grotto. That's all wet there. That's how wet my hair would be and that's why I'm wearing a hood that you should make. <laughs> we looked at the grotto for all of two seconds. It is freezing, raining, and windy. Just training for Mount Everest. <laughs> Thank you. 
this was the Bay of Martyrs, and it was our last stop. And Chris Stapleton. Come on, Chris. And now we're heading back to our hotel, getting some dinner. Chris, we're trying to vlog here. <laughs> and then going to bed. That was one of the most beautiful scenes, I think, in the world. But it's so crazy how when you've been stopping every five minutes taking pictures down this road for the last two days, how it's so easy to sit there and look at it and just move on. It's hard to really soak it in. It kind of looks like something you see like on a magazine or on TV and it doesn't even look real. But like it is real. It was right there and it was called the Bay of Martyrs. So I would compare it to being templed out. It is not even <laughs> close to being templed out. I could sit there and look at those rocks in the water for hours. But the sun is setting and we haven't eaten and we gotta get to our hotel. We are nutritious. Oreos and Ratis. We did have Ratis and Oreos for lunch. <laughs> and Pianu butter. <laughs> it's a local dish. <laughs> Holy fucking yeah, corn friend. You got it. Right, Australia. Whatever you get here, they're really good. <laughs> Kara does not agree. Kara's loving the Great Ocean Road. <laughs> like National Geographic. I wonder what it's trying to eat. I really want to touch it. What are you doing? That can't be comfy. This is bloody amazing. Brilliant. Man, I'm telling you, that the, the wet bix just gave me energy. This thing is cracking me up. Oh. 